Hey guys, welcome back to Naturally Page for another Faith Fridays. Today I wanted to talk about something that I personally had to deal with and that is leaving your church home. Now a few years ago, probably I would say about five years ago, I was seriously considering switching churches um, and leaving my church home that I have been at with my family since I was, I think we started going when I was about seven. Um, and I was really considering changing my church just because, well, anytime that I thought about the reason why I wanted to change church, it was a very I reason. What I mean by that is it was, I don't feel fulfilled or I don't feel like I can worship here or I don't think that I'm growing here. Or, I don't think it was very like that, you know, it was really true about what I thought. And as I was considering changing churches to somewhere that I thought filled me and that gave me, you know, it made me enjoy worship service and, you know, I felt like I wanted to come to church and whatever, whatever, whatever. Someone said to me, where do you feel led to serve? And I was just like, what? Because in my head, I wanted to switch churches because I wasn't getting what I needed. And the person basically challenged me to say, you know, you have to think about where you are called to serve. And when I really sat down and prayed about it, I realized that I did not feel led to serve at the church I wanted to go to. At that church, I really just wanted to sit down and soak it in. And what spoke to me is the fact that a lot of times we are very quick to find fault with our church homes, very quick to want to leave, especially if there's an issue. And don't get me wrong, there's some legitimate reasons why you may need or want to leave your church home. But oftentimes, it tends to be, I am not getting what I need. And I want us to think differently. I want us to challenge our way of thinking and maybe realize that church is not about what I am receiving, but it's about what I am giving. You know, it's not just about what you are getting. Don't get me wrong, there's a place for your church being somewhere that you feel like, you know, you're spiritually fed and that you feel as though, you know, you, you, you're being taught the word in a sound way. But there's a place for us to take ourselves out of the equation and to selflessly realize that church is really about us serving our brothers and sisters in Christ and those who don't know Christ yet. It's not just about what makes us feel good. I want to share with you just an example that Christ left us about this kind of selflessness. Mark 6 from verse 30. Then the apostles gathered to Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said to them, Come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. So they departed to a deserted place in the boat by themselves. But the multitude saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran there on foot from all the cities. They arrived before them and came together to him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion for them, because they were like sheep not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. Look at this. Jesus had just taught them. Like he had just finished teaching. And you know, the disciples, they're hungry, they're raw, they're tired, they want to rest a little bit. And them take on themselves. And yet still, these people were so hungry for Christ, they followed him. And did he turn them away? No. No, did he have every right to? Of course. A man tired. I mean, it would have been understandable and within reason for him to say, you know, guys, I'm really tired, just let me rest a couple of hours and then I'll be back. But no, his immediate response was he had compassion on them. Basically, his heart melt for them. He had compassion on them and he attended to what they needed. So, I just want to encourage you. Maybe it's time to take yourself out of the equation just a little bit. It's not all about you and about how you feel. And too many of us are relying on church for our spiritual growth. It is a part of our spiritual growth, but it should not be the main part. Really, truly, the main part of your spiritual growth should be your own personal devotions at home with God. That is what is supposed to allow you to grow in Christ. We can't keep depending on others for our growth. We have to be willing to take up the Word of God for ourselves, study it, and to grow in Him, and feed on His Word. If you are struggling at your church home right now, Take yourself out of the equation and don't let it be about you. Don't let it be about you. It's really and truly about how can you be of service to others? How can you be present for the Lord and obedient to His will? How can you fulfill God's purpose in your life? 
and if God tells you to move then yo by all means move go forth but if you have not received that word if you have not received that directive that you are to leave your church home I strongly recommend that you check yourself let's recognize what church is let's get back to basics let's get back to loving people and being there for people let's get back to serving people let's get back to truly truly exemplifying Christ in how he gave of himself without thinking he gave of himself when it stripped him bare and that's what we have to get back to so just encouraging you at your church home now just find ways to be more of service you know and recognize that it's not about you it's not all about you take yourself out of the equation and be of service this week you know don't complain about what your church not doing for you decide to either be the change or to see what is needed right Marcus actually said to me once that if God has laid something so heavily on your heart that you have an issue with maybe you are the person he wants to change it hmm. instead of just sitting around complaining maybe get up and do something Thanks again for making it Faith Fridays, guys, and I hope this song will challenge you in your walk with the Lord as it did mine.